What up, what up, what up, guys, and Kenny here, and back another video today. So, we're just going to be playing some end season ladder with Ice Bow 3.6. Again, I'm using the Valkyrie because I think it's good for this current meta, especially since Skeleton King is like the strongest champion right now. And we're currently top 800, which is pretty good. I'm going to be trying to hit 7400. And yeah, so my friend Hunter, he's top 3 with Ice Bow right now. I think he was top one earlier, and he actually has a YouTube channel, if you guys were wondering. So, I'm actually going to link his YouTube channel down below. It's going to be Hunter underscore CR. You should type it up and see it automatically. And, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, we're up against Nathan, no skill. So, usually, when people have, like, no skill in their name, they're probably playing, like, Drill or Sparky. But I could be wrong here. Okay, so he has Skeleton Dragon, so I'm not sure what he's using. Um, I feel like I'm lagging a bit here. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm probably lagging a bit. Yeah, so I'm just going to rocket that pump right away. That was a really, really bad pump, especially since he played in, like, rocket range. And nice, our Valkyrie got a few swings, so that's going to be really, really huge. Okay, so it seems like he's playing that Golem Pump deck with no big spell. So I'm not really sure what the matchup is on this specific deck now that like Pump got like a huge buff. But I feel like it's still alright. Okay, I'm going to have to activate King here. And we're going to take that on the E-Drag shot, but I think it's fine. I'm going to actually go Skeletons here, and what this is going to do, it's going to force him to respond. Because if he did just leave that as it was, he probably would have taken like a thousand damage. Okay, so he should be really, really low in Elixir. I don't know if he's going to try to defend this or not. Okay, so he's gonna pump, so I'm gonna hit him with that an expo right away. And notice I'm not defending his lumberjack. I knew if I tried to defend, I wouldn't have enough elixir to defend his bigger push. And I had King Tower activated, so it's pretty much fine. Okay, he's gonna try to set up a big push now. So the good thing here is, I don't think he has his Skeleton Dragons in hand, but even if he does, we should be able to cycle back to like a rocket or something. Okay, I think he's like one, yeah, he should be back now. Gonna have to go Valkyrie here, and NATO this over. Okay, hopefully we can defend these E-Barbs. Because they're raged up, so this might be pretty pretty awkward to defend. Okay, I'm just going to go Tesla up high like this. And let's go NATO. I don't want that E-Drag to connect. Because if, if he gets it like a good chain, and I somehow mess up my defense, I kind of lose right away. So, And GG. Okay, so I usually don't like starting off with skeletons in the back first play. And that's I, I feel like I feel like it's not one of the best starting plays with Ice Bow just because um you're giving up like a main part of your defense. I know it's like only one elixir and of course if you don't really have anything else to play you should play like skeletons in the back, but I just feel like it's better to go log or like a Tesla or something. And notice how I went Expo right away as soon as he played like a Skeleton King in the back. Because usually when you're playing like Beatdown, like Golem or E Giant, and you play like 
and they play like a four elixir card, you're supposed to play like an expo opposite lane right away, and they won't have like enough elixir to go golem or e, or e giant. And just like that, I got like 1600 damage. Let's go Tesla here in the middle, since his lightning's out of cycle. I usually would have played it like higher if his lightning was um, in cycle. So this ice wizard is, is fine, especially since um, he can't hit both, especially since his lightning's out of cycle. And I'm gonna go um, expo on the right hand side like this. And this expo is gonna get a lot of value. So let's get a good rock here. We didn't really have any other good play to do there, so I just felt like that was the safest play. So once this gets to like triple elixir, it's just gonna basically be spell cycle. Since we can't get like a real lock, so. Okay, now that I know that he has lightning in hand, I'm gonna play my Tesla high up like this. And notice how I'm kind of spreading out my Tesla and my Ice Wizard. I'm playing them as far as I can from each other so he's not able to hit both with the, with the lightning. Let's play our Tesla here. It's gonna kill the baby dragon and pull the golem. And we can play our Ice Wizard in the middle since he just used his lightning. I'm gonna go Expo just to pressure. I know this isn't really gonna get like a good connection. I'm just playing it to kind of force him in like an awkward position. Let's go Valkyrie here. Ice Wizard down below. I'm pretty sure he has lightning but this is mainly just to kill his baby dragon. So even though I want to go Expo on the left, I can't because he can easily just lightning and I don't want to give him like free lightning value. Let's go Ice Wizard in the corner because he has lightning in hand. Valkyrie up high to help out against his Golem. Tesla up high like this. I'm gonna log. So this is the spell cycle I'm talking about. I know it's not like Triple Elixir yet, but... It's basically triple elixir. Okay, let's go defensive expo again. So this is kind of what you guys want to do. And this kind of matchup this late in the game. Let's go Tesla to snipe his baby dragon. I'm gonna go log down low for this bar barrel. Nice that ice wizard still alive. So I'm just gonna nail this back. And look how much value that defensive expo is getting, guys. That's literally insane. I'm gonna go skeletons and then log. It's gonna hit his tower as well. Let's go rocket since he did use his lightning. I'm gonna have to ice wizard that so it dies. Let's go NATO and I'm making sure I clip the tower as well. Let's go log. Okay, I'm gonna go with Valkyrie just to kind of bridge block. Let's go Rocket. We don't really need to go Rocket here, but I just want to do it just to play it safe. And GG. So, pretty easy match. I think we should be at 7400 plus. Let's give him a bit of BM here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys this replay against this RG deck. So this RG deck is... I think this has matchup against Ice Bow, Especially since it has the giant skeleton. So even though it has fireball instead of like the earthquake. 
his giant skeleton is just able to soak up so much damage from my expo, it's insane. So I saw the giant skeleton and I went defensive expo right away. I wasn't really sure what he was using at the time, but whenever I see giant skeleton I always assume it's RG. So right here I'm just gonna go Valkyrie at the bridge, and we should get damage on, a, on his tower here. I'm gonna go Tesla down low for his RG and then Ice Wizard down low as well. And notice how I'm not gonna pull this um, RG back. I'm just kind of soaking up damage. And what I'm gonna do here is a little weird. So I'm gonna go Expo. And notice how I like made good use of my Elixir there. Instead of just like wasting three Elixir just to NATO it back and just like lose even more damage, I just felt like it was more worth it to go Expo. Especially since his RG was pretty much dead. And we got like a lot of damage in return. So right here, I knew I was kind of screwed. Because I couldn't really go Tesla. Because if I went Tesla, his Fisherman and RG would have easily killed my Tesla. So I had to go Rocket and then Ice Wizard. And he did a really, really, really good job of pressuring me. Just like that, recognizing my Valkyrie was out of hand. So right here I knew I was kind of in trouble. He's, he was really, really smart for spell cycling me right now. Because I can't really punish him for it. And this is looking like it could get to a two tower game. Since he went fireball, that's like an easy rock in this tower. And this is definitely getting over to like a one tower game, guys. I went expo just because right there I knew he was gonna try to um, fireball my tower. But I wanted him to hold off on it as for as long as possible. And this is where I got like really really nervous. So right here, I'm just gonna go like defensive expo down below. So some people would think like it would be a better idea to go defensive expo in place of my dead tower. But I feel like that is like literally pointless, especially since your opponent's able to easily kill the defensive expo. So I just feel like this placement's a lot better. So right here my game plan is basically to spell cycle. As you guys do see there, I just send in the rocket. And the good thing here is I can just NATO his RG to my king tower. Just to soak up damage if I need to, so. So right here, since he cycled his giant skeleton in the back, I went in with an expo opposite lane because I thought like he had RG out of cycle. Which was kind of unfortunate. But the good thing there was we were able to get like a Valkyrie shot into the tower, so that was definitely worth it now that I really think about it. And right here I was like really really nervous just because he had like two giant skeletons on that side. But we somehow managed to defend this. And we don't really need to send in any more rockets especially since we got all the damage we need. All we have to do is try to defend as much as possible here. So as the fisherman was able to actually connect, so right here I'm just kind of scrambling for elixir. Just to try, um, try to get a rocket down and we managed to somehow. And if you guys made it to this part in the video, um, make sure you guys send an ice emoji down below and yeah.